Three one first round of the season. What was your opinion on that? Just delighted to get three points under our belt. Um, I don't feel so far we've got our just reward. Um, some very close games, early doors went the opposite direction, a little bit of misfortune or whatever. Uh, I think I spent the last probably month keep shaking my head at some of the things that have happened. Uh, not necessarily during the game, but some of the uh, unavailabilities for various reasons, uh, the problems that have been there. It's, I mean, it's the first time I've experienced it in 30 years of management, but um, the group have stayed together, they've stayed strong. And uh, today we've got our just rewards. So I sincerely hope that's the first of a few over the next couple of coming weeks. How would you say today's results sets the tone for this season? It's important to win. You know, you, you've only got to look at Bath. I thought we were the better side at Bath. We didn't win, they did. They got momentum and suddenly they've gone unbeaten in seven games, winning six of them. And that's what it's all about, it's a mentality. And if you remain positive, you get your just rewards. And I think we tried to do that. Um, I know there's been an awful lot of you know, criticism, and it's criticism within ourselves about the performances, about individual, you know, their characters and things like that. But uh, if you ask questions and they respond, it's exactly what you need. You know, there's a, there is a togetherness in the group, despite the fact that I've got to say our pre-season, not being able to put uh, uh, the same side out probably two weeks running has, has been a nightmare really. But um, our first win hopefully will start the ball rolling. In June the next month, do you expect anything to change regarding the first team? Or much to say? My personnel? Yeah. Well the first thing is, today we, had, we left out six players all together. And there's still Tom Cadmore, uh, Binzi, still to come back in. So the squad is getting, should we say, stronger in personnel being available. That's going to help. We might get to get a little bit more continuity. I think the fitness levels of players are, are starting to get there. But I've said, I've gone on record about you know, a little while ago, saying we're a month behind everybody else. And I don't think it's, it's anything down to what we've done has been circumstances outside our, you know, outside, but outside our capabilities of actually doing something about it, and it's been a bloody nightmare. And then results go against you, and obviously you, you, there is a, a bit of a negative vibe, but it's been down to us to try and keep that positivity up. We said after the game Saturday, tried to find the positives. When you get beaten five, there aren't many, but our second half performance was far outweighed the first. With a little bit of good fortune, we might have got something out more at the second half. Continue that today. It was all positive before the, before the game. And again, you've got to look in this league and say, you know, the top half it pretty much takes care of itself because there's so many, you know, big hitters financially. And I mean, big hitters. Um, we've got to be in and amongst the, the next group. And at the moment, you know, down in the bottom three is not good enough. You know, we need to be middle of the table. Once we can establish that, then maybe you can start looking above. But uh, as I say, there's some uh, incredible amounts of money around this year that we're not going to compete with by a long, long way. So you make do with what you've got. You try and improve it at every possibility, possible moment. If a player becomes available, then we'll look. So in answer to your question, I think it will be very much the same sort of group, but we are aware of one or two areas I think we need to improve sooner rather than later.